So today we're going to be talking about lucid dreaming sex, which is something that a lot of people are searching on Google, YouTube. Uh, I get a lot of emails asking about this. Um, so really I just wanted to make a very quick introduction to this. Um, just explain roughly, you know, how it works, how you can do it, and, you know, what it's like. <laughs> so basically, in a lucid dream, okay, your mind creates things based on your previous experience, uh, but it also sort of exaggerates and uh, and creates things based on what you think they'll be like. So for example, say if you've never been skydiving before and you have a dream about falling, okay, you're, even though you've never fallen from a great height before, your mind sort of fills in the blanks and basically gives you a, an experience which is similar to what it actually is like based on things you've seen, uh, things you've read, and things you've sort of daydreamt about before, uh, you know, that all of those will mix into your, your lucid dreaming mind and it will create something based on that. So, with lucid dreaming sex, if you've never had sex before, yes, it will still feel good because your mind is able to create something, create an experience uh, based on what you've either thought about, seen, or heard before. So, if you've watched films with sex scenes in, if you've read books with you know romantic sections that sort of stuff um, and if you've thought about sex at all uh, your mind is able to create something based on that and you'll actually be able to have lucid dreaming sex because your mind and your subconscious mind at least has you know lots of experience and lots of memories of that based on what you've watched or read if you've had sex before then your mind is able to create um, to sort of exaggerate the feeling um, and make the best parts last longer and make the bad parts sort of not be there at all. In the same way that if you have ever eaten food in a lucid dream, you'll know that it's much better than the real life food because your mind exaggerates the good bits and takes out the bad bits because obviously in a lucid dream, you experience what you want, right? Your mind gives you what you want. Um, so yeah, with the way it works with lucid dreaming sex is you enter the dream, you become lucid through whatever technique you like, you know, wake induced, uh, wake back to bed, that sort of stuff, and then you find a dream character, or you know, manifest a dream character. And I've made other videos about how to manifest dream characters, and then you sort of make your move, you know, come onto the dream character. And I don't really need to explain it any more than that because your mind will take over, and it will sort of happen on its own. Okay, um, the only thing that you know you might struggle with. Is, is two things really. Is Firstly is when you start having lucid dreaming sex or when you start having sexual thoughts in a lucid dream, you're very quickly going to wake yourself up and that's because when you're in a lucid state, you're very easy, it's a very fragile state, okay? And if you do things that sort of excite your emotions and your, your body, essentially, um, <laughs> you'll very quickly the dream will collapse and you'll wake up. This is the same if you are in a lucid dream and you say you fight someone or you get too excited when you're flying or you have sexual experiences and that will wake you up as well. So really the first thing you'll struggle with is that you know you won't be able to last long in a lucid dream because you'll get too excited you'll wake up. Um, and, the, so the, and that's the first thing and the second thing is that you might struggle to actually find dream characters okay uh, or at least find dream characters that you would like to have sex with. And that can be solved by doing the manifesting technique, which is basically where you say if you want to have sex with a brunette girl, okay, you would find a dream door, like a, a building in a dream with a door or a window or something like that, and you would imagine that the girl will be on the other side of the door when you open it. And this is a great way to manifest dream characters, dream objects, or even to teleport, you know, basically whatever you think will be on the other side of the door or the window when you open it, it usually will be there. So really, those two are the only problems that you'll have, okay, once you're actually, you know, once you're making a move on a dream character, um, it will sort of happen on itself, it's very self-explanatory, okay. Um, the other thing is people are sort of questioning the morality of this, and obviously that's down to the individual, you know, if you think it's right to do, then do it, if you don't, don't do it. There are plenty of other things to do in a lucid dream, and you don't have to have sex with a dream character. My opinion is that a dream character in a lucid dream is sort of uh, an extension of your subconscious mind, okay? So it's never actually the person or the character, it's always like a, a fragment of them 
that your subconscious mind is creating into a dream character in the dream state. So really, you're essentially having sex with your, a part of your subconscious mind, or at least having the experience of sex. It's not actually a physical thing. It's more, you know, the simulation of it in your dream. It's not real. You know, let's, let's not be uh, too vague about this. It's not a real experience, okay? It feels good in the same way that if you fly in a lucid dream, it feels good, but you're not actually doing it. Um, it's sort of like an illusion or a simulation, if you like. So in terms of um, morality and that sort of stuff, it's down to you. But my opinion is, you know, it's not real. It's in your mind. Uh, it's more like you're daydreaming, but slightly more consciously. Um, so that's my opinion anyway. That's how you can get started. And that's my advice. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.